welcome back to the show. Now, as they say, Vara, when life gives you lemons, what you make? You lemonade. make lemonade, I suppose. Yes. Well, I think that's kind of what happened to our next guest, isn't it's it? It's true. Yes, when social distancing caused his business to come to a grinding halt, this clever Kirkonian, he decided to use his love of trivia to reinvent himself as an online quiz host. He is stateside, and we're going to go to Baltimore to Stephen Walsh. Thank you so much for joining us. But you always had a love of trivia, Stephen, did you? Yeah, guys, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I used to... Um, I've always hosted on and off for... Uh, for years and uh, when COVID hit, I figured I'd better try to figure out how to do it online. Yeah, and what was your job before COVID hit, Stephen? I, I had the worst job in the world to be in. I was an events planner, so I was doing large gatherings for groups of people, so not what you want to be doing. Oh. But you know what's really interesting? Because I suppose in a way what you're doing is you're planning events and quizzes mm -hmm. online. How many countries are you now in with your quizzes? So we've hosted for over 60 countries, which is insane. The, uh, there's people playing in Afghanistan and Burkina Faso, places that I've barely heard of. And how, how do you make money out of this? Because uh, there, you often hear people talking about a cute carry whore, but I think there's a cute car whore here. You're making a few bob out of it. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I charge everyone a couple of quid to play. And uh, if you get enough people playing a couple of pounds, it uh, adds up pretty quickly. So it's been very... It's been very good. Okay, how does it work? Tell us how does it work? So if I want to play and my family wants mm -hmm. to play and you want to play in your household, how does it work? So I, I host it on Zoom and then I have a PowerPoint so you can see and hear all the questions. And then you submit answers via Google form and you can play with a team no matter where they are in the world. So it's a really good way of connecting people. So how do you stop people cheating? Um, it's kind of on the honor system. Um, it's a teacher would tell you they can tell when someone's cheating. <laughs> and as a trivia host, I can kind of tell when someone's cheating, but we really don't have a problem with it. And there's not a prize anyway. It's more for getting Connecting. people together and hanging oh, out. Good. And you've trained your sister as well. Is she in North Carolina? Have you trained her to become a, a host as well? So there wasn't enough hours in the day. So my sister hosts some games for families and little kids. And then my wife writes them so the little kids are answering the questions, not the parents. And it's very, very fun to watch. And you have a few of the American embassies on board as well, Stephen, is it? Yeah, we have. Uh, that's where all the international thing came from. Um, a guy at the embassy in Islamabad in Pakistan heard about it and he invited all the other embassies. And now on Saturdays, <laughs> I do one for Asia and one for Europe and Africa and, and the Americas. Oh, that's so that's very it brilliant. It sounds amazing. Brilliant. What a brilliant idea, Stephen. So do you have a few Thank questions you. for us? Okay, you're the quiz master or you're the quiz host, Stephen. I, I did, so I gave them a few questions and this is what they picked for you. So the first one, I think uh, they were doing picture round for you mm -hmm. guys, is that correct? That's okay. it, I think, yeah, yeah, okay. So the first one, if you can see these towers, what country are you in? Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia, yeah. Yeah, nicely done, Malaysia. Okay. The second one, you've seen it a million times, can you tell me how many spikes are on the crown of the Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh my, my God. God. T uh, 10, 15? About, uh, 16. Now, nah, so one in the middle and three on each side oh, for a total of seven. Oh, the spikes. Ah! Ah! We're looking at those the spikes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, no shame. Go on. No, 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 no it's fine. Uh, can you name the brand logo? Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. There you go. Nicely yeah. done on the Motors. pictures. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do another one. We're going to do another one. Who painted the back wall of the Sistine Chapel? <laughs> well, well um, Michelangelo, obviously. He did but the ceiling, no, didn't The he? ceiling. Yeah. I, I don't know. Michelangelo uh, O'Connor's well? and Co. <laughs> so it's a, a little bit of a trick. It was Michelangelo as well. Otherwise, it'd been a tough act to follow, I think. Oh, <laughs> we got there, right? Thank God. Do you have yeah. one more? Uh, who, yeah, who is the oldest of the six actors on the TV show Friends? Oh, um... um Joey, Phoebe. I'm going to what's go... What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Monica. Monica, yeah. Definitely. Nah, it's Phoebe. 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 Lisa Kudrow. Phoebe. Lisa Kudrow. Oh, yeah. You said Phoebe first. You were yeah, I should, have right. my, I should have won my Stephen, gut. Stephen, thanks so much. Stephen, well done. Congratulations yeah. and continued success. Absolutely. Uh, You're there already, I'd so say. Thanks so much for having me on, guys.
Thank you. Uh, for having us. What a great story. It is. What watch a really great trivia. story. So you can join in mm -hmm. on, face, on Facebook and on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It's Watch Trivia if you want to check it out. No, you couldn't win anything there, but you can with us because That's we right. are giving you the chance to win €3,000 up for grabs, tax-free. You can do whatever you want with it.